So at this time and going forward, what should businesses do to protect workers? Well, first and foremost, they should they must support their supplier factories. They should refrain from canceling orders at a time like this. They should follow through with commitments made before the lockdown. So what is also crucial is for employers to engage with stakeholders, including trade unions and civil society, to ensure that the industry can revive itself with minimum minimal roadblocks. We're yeah. likely to become increasingly reliant on domestic legislations in Europe in the yes. coming years, pan Europe legislations, uh, in order to exert pressure on brands. And what we are working on in the European Parliament is a, a new law, essentially, uh, on due diligence for uh, for companies and for companies' supply chains. And what we want companies to do is to be obliged to look at uh, environment risks and what they do, governance risks and what they do, but also, and that's relevant for here, social and human rights risks. Uh, actually, what we are facing in India, that all international companies, multinational companies, uh, respecting uh, their uh, labor laws at their uh, home country. But they came to India for business, they are not respecting our national yeah. labor laws. What I do know is what we see in daily life in businesses in the Netherlands is, for instance, the way they are financed is having a huge impact because orders have been cancelled and payments delayed because the company obviously said, well, no money coming in during lockdown means no money can go out. But that's not running a business at your own risk. That's running a business at the risk of someone else, meaning the workers in India, for instance.